And we're back, everybody. Hey, Krusty. Here we are. Back on the U.S. side. Round two, Operation Farmer's Fate coming at you live. It appears that the U.S. have chosen Tempest Estate. Uh, I could be a QRF, yeah. Get over here. This right, is a so nice, big compound. Area. Lots of buildings. Yeah, three, we'll lots of ways in. Lots of corners. Lots of angles. Copy that. I'd like it that way. <laughs> we are going to see some good action. We're going to see a lot of CQB here. You can guarantee that. You know, there's a lot of tree lines running in that are going to provide a little bit of cover for the insurgents as they, as they pursue. Looks like we got a little briefing going on here. You know, we might switch over to Xbit and see if we can hear his plan. I cannot tell. Oh, wow. Look at that. They are all they all have red outlines, but their names are blue. That's what happens when you switch teams in admin cam. Let's see what happens if I do this. Oh, that, that happened. All right, then. We're going to go to Xbit and look at their briefing. There on the machine gun mark. So basically, it's a kind of outside layered uh, defense. So if you guys get hit, your squad leads or fire team leads will either ask you to stay there or fall back. So once you get back to Tempest Estate, there should be some pre uh, pre built defenses for you guys to fall back into and hold out at Tempest. The idea is, of course, just push them off. Uh, don't let them get through. So by having this circle around us, we should be uh, pretty flexible. Uh, you also might get a mission, the Humvees and stuff. You might also get a mission to uh, do a support by fire from the south, a village over the berm. Uh, and squad four will be running the, nope, I'm going to assign that to squad three. Squad three, you're going to take the Humvee and the Lodge, you're going to do runs with it. Uh, also, you, you, if you're up north or outside, you might get a, a mission to go out and find the RD truck if uh, we so desire. So be ready for that. Uh, any questions? All right. Uh, hot pockets? Hot, hot pockets? Absolutely. Okay. So right. it, if you're if you're running the uh, if you're running the uh, the Humvee, you cannot go above the four or three four line. Okay, so that line there, just north of us here, the grid. You can't go above it with the Humvee. You have to stay below that line. So no chasing. That's the only special rule here, and vehicles have to use bridges. So with that, I'll let your squad leaders break you out, get the final plan set, and I'll let them know we're ready. Good luck, guys. Hey, Farm. Whoa. Got you, Chris. Whoa. Thank you. I'll fucking dig north. Uh, that's okay. Uh, here we go again. All right, well, I'm not quite sure. I never get the full hearing like you guys do of what the squad leaders or commands are telling but i can see the map and it looks like he is setting up a big perimeter to the north south east and west now what that is going to entail i do not know but i can guess that we're going to go live pretty soon see the u.s force is getting ready u.s ready they have posted Insurgent main, I don't see anybody up there. I can see a big group of them now, so they're doing their briefing too. Who's their command? Tedish. To Tedish is their command. We could probably get a shot on him and catch his briefing too. We'll bring his volume up and quiet me down here. I thought it was get. there and then heading south into Tempest. I'm suspecting they're going to be in Village. Um, so I'm kind of setting up a contingency plan from that. The weak point from Village, in my opinion, is direct south of it and slightly to the southwest. So if we can, then we'll sweep around, set it, get set up there, and um, assault is needed. Any questions? Talk to Beard. Who's doing what? Negative. Which squad is doing what? Uh, Again. 
So, squad one is the uh, vehicle squad with Shattered Ritual. Uh, and then two is heading direct south, three is heading west, and then south. Clarified, Roger. Leave a charge. So, realize if you have IEDs, you can place them near walls and set them off, and it'll kill and slash damage people that are inside that building. So, very useful for assaulting compounds. Figure most people the know that at this point, but some people don't, so. Death range is about five meters for that. Is that it? I thought it was higher. But anyways, it's, it's, a, it's pretty, pretty short. Clearing a room. Alright, um, let's figure out when live time is here. We'll say 47, yeah? Aloha. Sounds good, 47. So we get 90 seconds. 47 so. as in virgins. Alright, we're getting in the uh, transport. Meh. Alright. Yeah, we are live at 147. That's going to give us a whopping one minute to get it going here. First things first, I'm going to go over the commands of squad leaders. They're the same as last round, but you never know if there's new people here or not. So here we go. Command for the U.S. is XBIT. His squad leaders are CMYK Matter, Crusty the Sailor, Best Pony, and Truth Realm. Commander for the Insurgents is Tedish. He's got squad leaders Hammered Hebrew Satan and Shadowed Ritual. Pretty sure that's all there is to it. Yep, 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 yep. All right, and as for cameras, the ones who make this all possible, I'm just going to run through them real quick because we don't have enough time. But these are the guys that are the real heroes. We've got Ek we've got Xbit, the Silver Man, Krusty the Sailor, Truth Realm, Tedish, Shadowed Ritual, J Remick, Best Pony. And for this round, we've added Hyper Evo into the mix. So that's one extra from the previous round. We're live in three seconds. Two, one. Live, live, live. We'll see the U.S. spread out. There they go. The Lodgy and the Humvee are turning around. Looks like they're heading off. Going back to get some. That is Bravo Fire Team for Truth Realm Squad. He likes to keep it nice and organized, so he's got three Bravo Leader, and three Bravo, and then three Alpha, and all that stuff. So, really cool. Looks like CMYK Matter, Silent Crisis, and Hyper Evo are heading over to the west just to be the scout team. Already up north is the transport truck for the U.S., and here come the insurgents. We are going to see some action early again. And someone's dead for the U.S. Vehicles northeast. Oh, I think those guys got run over. Oh, oh, what a, oh my God. Whole squad wipe. Boom, two, four, six, eight. They're dead, the whole squad. Oh my God, did you just it's see the that? Squad. The transport techie is down. Uh, <laughs> oh, squad oh my goodness. Nice two, four, six, that, I mean, how was that? One, one, two, three, four, five, Stop six, coming. seven, eight, nine. That's a full oh squad. <laughs> Full squad, except for Mad to the Jack. Mad to the Jack's over there. He got out early. Hey, oh, what a freaking hey, start Tony, that it's was! Like, it's like that time that I wiped your truck out. Dude, did you feel as dirty as I do? Because this feels like really fun. Yes. Oh, that was dirty. That you know what? And then, and we got some sort of glitch here. Zabari and Sham or somebody got caught under the truck. I don't know. I know that happens. Yeah, the expendables are down. Hammered Hebrews, poor squad. I mean, they got expended. That's going to be a tough one for the insurgents to follow up on. That was a good start. Jeez. Let's go back to the main fort area. Looks like Sightless is covering the northeast. There's only a fire team in here. They're building, though. They're building up. Where's the commander? Where's Xbit at? Oh, yeah. There he is. Commander's there. Okay. Chris of the Sailor to the southeast. He's got a fire team off to the east. Look at all of these. Oh, they're on a they're on a Humvee and a Lodgy hunt. Here we go. And they're gonna find it too. Let's see if we can get down here in time. No instant replay. We'll see.
Uh, we'll see. We'll see if, it, if we get a dull spot. We'll maybe throw it up. I wasn't really looking the right way when that happened. That was nuts. All right, we've got three technicals getting into position. All sport and dishkas. No sign of the arty techie yet. I'm sure they plan on using it though, after what it did to them last game. All right. And the the dishkas are shooting it. They saw the humby. Oh, they're shooting at the yeah, Lodgy. They're, the they're just a hair behind it. Oh, they're hitting it a little bit, though. All right, Mount yeah, Kahuna made the right move there. He said, nope, not going to cut through that field. Let's keep going north. We'll take the roundabout way as long as it keeps us alive. And the techies are on the move. They are in pursuit. They're wolf packing this shit. It's going to be crazy. Should I take a guy and just go eliminate that? Oh yeah, and and the, we always upload these videos. Tell me if you can see anything. So you can definitely make your own clips in the in the vods afterwards if you want to. We're gonna go down the. Copy. All right, well, here we come. Shadowed ritual in the techie. He's driving it on the way up. He's got Jenga masters. Oh, they're gonna hit him right now. Here we go. Ran right in front of him, hitting the brakes. Kahuna doesn't know what to do. He's in the gunner seat. He's he's dead. Oh my god, he's alive! He took down most of a techie and down he goes. So that's the only run that that Logi truck's gonna get to make because he doesn't have an escort anymore. It looks like the insurgents only lost one guy. They are taking rockets there from their northwest. Nothing accurate yet. Or nothing too accurate. They're definitely scary. Chaklo's slinging some lead. He must have the saw. I saw the tracers. And in the meantime, the U.S. did get that Lodgy up there. That's going to be their only run. Echo 5, keypad 4, sub They have no escort, so they're getting out. Humvee. They're calling her there. Copy that, you two. Go ahead and hold it. Contacts all over it. Squad 1, I need you to start shifting fire team to the southeast. All right, Expit has called out Squad 1 up north to shift to the southeast. They're getting a little extended up there. Definitely clear it out when they are the defense team. But, you know, they, they already wiped a squad, so... Or at least best pony squad is. Is that Squad 1? That sure is, yeah. All right, let's, let's see the shots down here. Command, you wanted me to push a fire team southeast? Uh, scratch that too. No, I want one to push. All right, I see insurgents scrambling to the southeast. In the meantime, most of their forces are up to the northeast now. Just a fire team. Keep in mind, they are an entire squad down. Apparently so. I I can send a buddy pair. No, we can take a. I think we got a second. We can look at that instant replay of that squad wipe. Let's take a look at it. The Occupy Delta Four keypad eight building. Oh gosh, that squad wipe in the beginning was just spectacular. Oh, potential infantry contacts in that building, according to my guys. And then we'll watch the Humvee get blown up. They're gonna storm it though. Copy that. Rockets just fired. Let's Rockets take a look here. One, two, and a three. 350 cals for the U.S. Here comes the arty. Ooh. And it's close. That that rocket arty was really close. You know what? I haven't found out where they're where they've decided to set up that fob yet. I'm guessing that it's an Echo 2 keypad 2. We get a big higher up look here. All right there, there's our man Hutch. He's gonna get a brief shot there with the rocket arty. Good job by him, letting it roll. That's going to be his last one. Best pony in the Silver Manor. Right there. Here's how it's 
southwest. Although, yeah, I'll keep watching your. Never mind. Head direct south. Pretty good. Already fired by him. He's back rearming. You know, and if he heads back, Best Pony and, and Silverman are going to be there to take him out. In the meantime, insurgents spread very nicely around all of these compounds and buildings, pushing through, making sure there's nobody on their backs or trying to flank them. Keeping a good 360 view. And they've got their techie squad down in the southeast. They're just chilling, waiting for orders. In position. In the meantime, there's Best Pony and Silverman. Gotcha. Or no, sorry, I took Silverman, not the mine. Surprisingly, bad. Hutch has gotten out of the rocket already. I did call you to mine, Silverman. Yes. We might just Fuck. be leaving it there. I'm not sure. Uh, Command, I have, uh, I have eyes on a, I got calls on a full squad to my east, moving north. Copy that, you moving to, like, your southern, or northern fire team area. This is something the insurgents are doing that they didn't uh, do last round. Southern They've kind of got a defense, little defense I fire team right here at this uh, vehicle repair station and resupply, which will help a lot. Delta 5, keypad 9. All right, Hutch is checking it out. Is it full? It's full. He's turning around, and he's going to get shot at right here. Oh, best pony didn't take the shot. Sergeant Nato should see him. Oh, is Sergeant Nato going to see him? He doesn't at all. The Silverman and best pony are just running rampant up there. <laughs> no one saw him. Hold on that fire. I'm trying to get... Confirmation on that. Oh, best pony shooting at the sneaky sniper. Just hold All right, they're bo they both just yeah, shot, just at, shot sneaky at sneaky sniper, so they they're definitely they know there's contact there. I don't know where Hutch went. Where'd Hutch go? Did he disappear? Oh, he, he fell back even farther. Copy. Silverman yeah, just shot by that asshole. Somebody shot. Oh, Tedish is shooting at Best Pony. That's who it is. And Tedish takes down Best Pony with a nade. Great nade by Tedish. In the meantime, Silverman took out. I don't know who. Up, I just totally oh, forgot his name. Shot. There's a lot of them there. top there. Taking my lead. Looks like Sergeant Nato. Oh, he's throwing a nade. Is that gonna hit him? No, nope, too far. But Silverman's running away. There goes a little bit of rocket already fire. Let's see where Hutch hits this this one. All right, yeah. If you think you can We're still take it. South about 100, 100 meters. Copy. And the techies are coming in from the south. To our south. Still at least so far. We'll stop soon. Down. We'll stop soon. We're stopping right here. Oh yeah, Tedis just taking out teams. Tedis, heck of a player. He's really good. Always an asset to have on your team. And it looks like 50 cals, Cool Breeze, is shooting straight south. He's got the vehicles in sight. He might not be hitting them, but he's letting them know that we see you. And that might actually chase them into Krusty the Sailor Squad. If they drive in front of Krusty the Sailor Squad, there will be casualties. We've got a few guns ready to fire. They actually fell back. Are those three blueberries coming to me? If they are, I'll wait on them. I don't know what their plan is. Alright guys, we are heading to... You're on Silver Band. He's the last guy up there. He was the with Best Pony trying to take out the Artie truck. Uh, to no avail, copy. unfortunately, for the U.S. Copy. 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 But they only sent two guys, and they they take took out at least one, so they're an eye for an eye. I think they think I'm. Dead. <laughs> you can see Tedish and Sergeant Nato looking straight towards Silverman's location. They they know he's there. Sergeant Nato shot at him, actually hit him once. I'm sure that Hutch is informed, 
That's why he's out of the vehicle. He's looking to his southwest. Left the Artie way back up yeah. at their main. And Hutch is just uh, watching by that tree. Artillery truck down. They're coming to me. I'll wait. Xbit's asking his fellow uh, American forces if the Artie truck is down. Yeah. And he's, in fact, not. Checking to see if, but they're uh, not the shooting it currently. Down or not. I don't have confirmation yet. You know, the insurgents, if they've taken their whole... Half, at least a full squad here, it looks right, like. Come back to just to focus on the silver, man. Maybe they think there's more guys there than there really are. Really spread out. Looks like the insurgents are really spread out. There's Hyper Evo, CMYK Matter, and well, Silent Crisis. Fuck. They're going to come and flank. Tedish's go guys then. here. This could be, this could be interesting. I wonder if Hyper Evo saw something. He just creeped right, make your way right back into the corner of the spin. No, I don't think he did. Let's... We see Hyper. Oh, he's got the rocket, too. That's not a medic bag. What the hell? Hyper Evo is known for being a killer medic. Command, uh, technicals are in. Charlie 5, keypad 4. All right, the technicals are called out. Krusty's squad is all over him down there. There's just action all across the map. It's hard to keep track. I don't know where I want to be. I don't really want to. Yeah, I got. I got to watch Tedish get flanked by Hyper here. All right, we're going to be careful. Okay, so we're crossing the river right now. So we're crossing the river Hyper right now, underneath the bridge. Hyper saw something. He hit the deck. We're gonna follow him. Oh, does Tedish see him? It's a lag. Tedish sees him. Bye, bye, Hyper. Nice knowing you, buddy. And he's done. Nice shot, Tedish. One tap with the G3. That's a G3 Tedish is using. I heard that snap. I know that gun. And the Silverman's coming through. Silverman's piecing out. Just north of Tedish here. I need that guy on the wall with me. Oh, they saw him. That's Shelb shooting at him. And he's down. Good job. All right, no more US up here except for CMYK Matter and Silent Crisis. Could probably expect them to fall back. There, there's only two of them. They're surrounded, whether they know it or not. Four insurgents there. Mad to the Jack. He is the only remaining survivor of that just stellar squad wipe that Hammered Hebrews squad endured in the beginning. Copy that one. Yeah, get ice south. We've got techies moving up the south. You're looking for mad to the jack there's nothing there man. one technical that's immobile to my southwest he doesn't know that another believed to be in that Let's look at the kills or, 13 for the u.s uh, three for the insurgents four. so very well Three's played right now by the, the u.s they're doing a kick butt job yeah i get ice south we've got techies moving up the south that initial squad wipe was something else but the insurgents have have cut off supplies, so that's good for the insurgents. They can take their time now. They don't have to worry about the U.S. being able to build up a ton of defenses to reinforce. Oh, man. When I was down here before, Jenga Master was still in that field, and there he is. He's crawling. He's doing the belly crawl. That'll leave a rash. He's going to burn a hole in his belt. In his his shirt that crawling that long Southwest. whatever yeah, whatever they down. wear in his camo yeah, I coat poking out. I got a guy's head poking out right now one to command we're safe Krusty says he sees him look at Krusty sitting on the road he's right on the side of the road got the binocs out yeah. doesn't give a yeah, shit a he's not afraid that's a attaboy Krusty there's the rest of his squad back in the compound he's like just stay here I'll go tell you where they're at we're about to have some HMG I'm spitballing too I have no idea but that could be what happened. Oh, he sees them. That's Shadowed Ritual Squad. He mu they must not see Krusty yet. Oh, pulls the gun out. Krusty's taking shots. He's lobbing shots. That's Providence he's shooting him at. And they have all fallen back. So there's four insurgents to the southwest. Uh, HMG, direct your fire. The remainders are up near command at their FOB. And that's, I mean, that's good and all, but they're not going to win that way. Keep, keep going, right? Cool. 
Cool Breeze still shooting that way. Yes, Commander. It's basically got that 50 cal all the way to the right, as far as it'll go. Those 50 cal's only got about a 60 degree angle you can fire them at. Reloading. Gotcha. South. South. Once you reload, still south. South and north. Still see two vectors. See if Sightless sees anything. Nah, he's not gonna see anything there. We'll go back down to Krusty. He's got the best view. At least he will until Jenga Master walks up and shoots him in the ass. But he's still crawling across the field. He's only got about, I don't know, six more minutes of crawling at that pace. He doesn't know where he wants to go now either. Krusty fell back behind the bushes. He's using them for a little bit of cover, trying to look through. And I think he's looking to the right side of this bush here because he expects all those insurgents to be moving towards that compound where they're, they've set up their defense fob. So every time he comes to this side, he's wondering, where are they? Why am I not seeing them? And there he is. He's got Providence right down the road from him again. Uh, bring it Total Providence to and the, the Gaming uh, Brennan are both there. More to the west. Shadowed Ritual and Mute Style also. And look at that, they're all just sitting there. They're waiting for orders. They're, you know what they're doing is right, trying to figure out what they're gonna do. Lower it just a little bit. They're trying to walk the 50 cal in, but I know it can't shoot that far to the right. So that's why they're not getting the shots. Be advised, we've got contacts close to the fob radius. Oh, and Truth Realms called out. They just saw Man of the Jack. He's the only one up there. It's like Fig saw him. They're start shooting at him. Just out of sight. Careful, though. Those might be friendly. How far can you turn right? There's two friendly. Yeah, I see them. I see them. Alright. So we got him. Don't worry. We got Tom here. And you can still hear the 50 cal fire into the southwest. All four of them are still alive. And, and stuff. I'm pretty sure Shadowed Rituals know us. They're out of range of that 50 uh, to the west. I'm trying to get eyes on, but I'm just, I'm afraid and they're actually just keeping on heading to the west a little bit. My, uh, squad have any fire so we could look, we could see them come in from the hard west, which actually isn't too bad because the U.S. don't have a 50 cal facing that way. Never mind, they do now. They got it up when the next Lodgy came in. So I'm gonna see fire to the south. Yep. They've got a 50 cal pointing fire. north, south, east, and west. Copy that there. obviously doesn't cover every angle that they have. Oh, they're freaking. I saw Fulcrum. But it's a start. Oh my gosh, Fulcrum. Here comes Matrix, Fulcrum, Choclo, and Ram reuniting back to the Alamo. They don't have comms with the command. Yeah. Yeah. Meantime, Tedish has got the most of his team up here in the northeast. Really a long ways away. They got a lot of walking and running to do. Squad two is pulling south now. But they want to be careful. It's understandable. We had no eyes on that contact inside a uh, district. Copy. I do six. Wonder if, oh no, Krusty is alive, but Jenga Master's yeah. close. Has he made it to this compound yet? Nope, he's still out in the field out there. <clears throat> he's got a little gutsy. He went to crouch there instead of staying prone. Squad one, squad two, this command. Go ahead, squad one. Uh, I want you both to send a buddy pair each to that compound in Charlie 5, keypad 4. Go investigate. Ooh. All right. Expit's calling gotcha. for a couple buddy teams to be sent to this here compound with Shadow Ritual Squad in it. Now, that's th that might just be Expit getting a little impatient because they don't need to actively push at all. They're, they're on the defense right now. And they, they're in a pretty good spot considering right, so 
they lost their their humpy. Oh, here it comes. I see it coming in. Hutch is letting it rain again. Looks like they're going to be pretty close. A little bit off to the northwest. I guess we answered our earlier question. And now the the U.S. knows that they are not safe from the Arty. Um, there's a full squad to the northeast still surrounding it. So. Oh, how many left? Now 13 to 3, so that U.S. are heavily outnumbering the insurgents. Oh, Matrix just got taken out. Hutch just got Matrix with the Arty. He's down there flopping. Poor guy. At least I think it was Hutch. Let's make sure. Two command, my buddy pair. It was. It was Hutch. Hutch got him. Copy that. Buddy pair is almost to the compound. So we do have one kill by the Artie today. Oh, he's going to get more if he keeps that up. He is getting close. Oh, gosh. x has got mad at the Jack coming in. So close to him right now. I wonder if he hears him. He's still got his binocs out. There, he pulled the gun out. Do you hear footsteps close to me? Oh clear gosh, comms, clear comms. Got footsteps to the west of Tempest. Yep, he's calling out clear comms. Definitely hears him. Oh, Matt of the Jack gets taken out. That's Sightless from the south, covering his command's ass. Good job, Sightless. To the south. Uh, yeah, yeah, copy that. He heard he heard Xpit called it and he looked right. north and he saw him. Good work. Here comes the, the fire teams. Oh they ran into somebody. Someone's down down here. Total Providence is barely alive. Total Providence is dead. A good grenade. Looks like, yeah, a good grenade. Takes him out. Now we got Shadow Ritual and Immune Style. Immune Style is way to the south, and he's taking shots. It looks, eh, maybe not. Could just be random firing. I can't remember who was with Total Providence and Shadow Ritual and Immune Style down here. I can't remember at all. Wish I could. Let's see if I can figure it out. I think it was Jank. No, I don't know. Gaming Brennan? Yeah, it was the Gaming Brennan. That's who it was. U.S. are f shooting a few bullets. It's this is not over yet. Oh, and it looks like Krusty finally got taken out by Jenga Master. Yeah, it was Jenga Master got him. Uh, nice try, Krusty. Got one moving up to the door. Hitchens and the silliest goose are putting the moves on Shadowed Ritual. Hitchens gonna peek. Is Shadowed gonna get him? Most likely. He got him. So now the silliest goose yeah. knows. Just down, uh, oh, immune control, style but... takes out the silliest goose. So that's right, two for two. Eye for an eye. Uh, we lost all people at village and just lost both of our people at the compound to the west in uh, Bravo Five. All right, come to go ahead and try. It's like Hammer and Hutch is throwing some more. Already their way. Oh, those are looking good too. Oh man, and he's way back there, dude. They're not going to be getting him. Gosh, he hits one in the middle there. It's going to be a bad day to be a U.S. soldier up there. Oh, that was close. That was close. Oh, oh man, one or two good ones. I mean, look at them. They're not even running. Yeah, U.S. They're just sitting there. Turn to look. You see that? So. They're all sitting there needing a change of pants. Everyone's still One coming in. We got Silver One Pudge, Shadow Ritual now. Down here, that's it. Everyone else has killed each other off. Right. Jenga Master still laying in the field. And for, we are at. 8 to 17, so the surgeons have gained one kill on the U.S., but they're still pretty outnumbered. Yeah, that arty, though, says rival helicopter. You know it, man. He's going to get one right there in the middle of those 50s, and it's, I mean, it might not kill a lot of people, might even kill anybody, but boy, there'll be some buttholes puckering. When that thing hits, I tell you. They're all so close together. <laughs> Is 
Fafinator's leading these four guys. That's Fafinator, Chaclo, Fulcrum, and Wild Cucumber. They have lost their main man leader. It looks like Krusty and Truth Realms guys are actually both there. Shadow and Jenga Master look like they're trying to meet up with each other. They should be pretty safe now, for the most part. Meantime, this east side is getting a little bit close for comfort here. Of course, the entire team is crawling across the fields. Looks like Hutch is relocating. It's got to be him. That is him. Going to be shooting at him from the east now. Unpredictable target. That's really good. Come back up through village or something. Not a lot the U.S. could do to go take him out anyway because they don't have a vehicle anymore. I guess they could take the logic truck. Assume they're there. Yes, that's the point. You're like my pigeon. <laughs> Canary in the coal mine. 17 to 8 yeah, to the kills. Canary, not a pigeon. Oh my I God, just hate pigeons as well. Oh, and you hate me? That's what you were going oh, for? Oh my goodness. <laughs> two, four, six, seven. Just looking for the trail of One, two, three, smoke four, behind five, the rockets six, that Hutch seven, is going to fire. That's a full squad. All right, Shadowed Ritual and Jaga Master have met up. They're going to become running from the south. We've got four guys looking heavy that way. Here comes an Artie Barrage, and it's a shitload of them. He just let it rain. This is going to be good. Let's see how his accuracy is. Oh! Oh, it's everywhere. Oh, it's crazy. Oh my goodness. And he didn't kill anybody. That has just got to scare the living shit out of those guys. There. I mean, you hear it first, too. That's the crazy thing. You can just hear it coming in. And then your screen starts shaking. And it's pretty intense. Sagan, Fran? Three, do you got eyes on Village with any of the HMGs? Very patient. The U.S. are being very patient now. I hear a lot of good communication. All right. They're going to take a little bit of light fire and shoot south with it. At Shadowed Ritual and Jenga Master. So we'll see if they... If they can stir them up and make them move at all. You know, they don't they are not aware of what's coming in on their east side here. Probably because they're crawling at the speed of like continental drift here. <laughs> uh I'm not lonely, Rival Helicopter. I've got you guys here. I've got all you guys here telling me what I'm doing right and wrong. See, now I've even got volunteers for sound effects. Watch for return tracers. I'm hearing return fire. Cool Breeze still on that 50 yeah, cal looking south. He's firing a couple random shots. Not really too effective. Oh, dang. I can see four fields from this ladder. This is... Oh, five. Wait, what's, what's the other tracers opening? What's two opening up on? They're wondering what each other's shooting at. There's not too much. Oh gosh, Sightless has got to be close to seeing something here. Oh, he's just looking down the stairs. That's all he's doing. He's got nothing. The rest of them are... Look at him. J. Remick, Empty, It's Crispy, and the Iron Tyrant. Once you get into these fields, go prone. All right, looks like the rocket techie is back in place on the far east. Hutch is going to let it rain again. And you know, for two guys down, this, oh gosh, he's actually getting close to hit Shadowed Ritual. I don't even think he sees him. Shadowed Ritual just kind of ran in the wrong spot. Jenga Master, in the meantime, he's, he's been, spent this whole match on his belly. Uh, more eyes on the North Greater Village as well. Should be only a matter of time, a few seconds here, until we see another rocket barrage from none other than Hutch himself. Oh, 
Man, they got they got shadowed ritual running around. Here they come. Looks like he's just firing a couple of warning shots. He's not getting too crazy with it here. Oh, he's doing him slow. He's doing a slow burn of it. They're a little south. Let's see where they go though. There's a few guys a little south. Oh man, Hutch is money. Oh, there it was. There it was. He hit it. Down goes saloon number 12. Pants are being shit. He got it though. He got it once. Took out a gunner right there. I'm sitting in my belt. Keeping them spreading out. And he's just slowly making it rain in too. Look at that. Nice, easy shots. And they are very, very accurate. Man, dang, Hutch needs to give Artie lessons. He's a one-man artillery machine right here. Look at him go. No one's telling. Oh, there's another one hit up there. This is their bush, probably. And that east side is going to get wild. It's Crispy goes down. Sightless got him. Actually got him coming up the stairs. All right, Truth Realm just called out the east side, so they know they're there. Not a whole lot of looking south anymore. All right, Truth Realm's on the 50, looking east now. He's just random firing into that two-story building. That's where Sightless killed one guy. Here, the M4 shoot now. That's Ronald Reagan. Yeah, we got heavy push. Reloading. They're just firing into the smoke. Not a bad idea. That'll keep at bay until the smoke clears. Looks like Hutch is pulling up with the Artie truck. He's going to get out and come in and help on foot. Oh, firing rockets. A little bit low with both the rockets. Everyone's good for the U.S. here. Southside Jenga Master and Shadow Ritual. Still not moving in too much. But man, the insurgents getting closer. Satan's got this southern squad under his control. Looks like Tedish is taking control of this northern fire team. J. Remick set an IED down. It's not... I don't think his cell phone has reception or something. It's not, it appears not to work for him. Uh, I think his battery died. His frick, his battery died. Yeah, dang it. It ain't gonna turn on. It ain't gonna turn on, Remick. Sorry, man. It's dead. Always charge your cell phone. You never know when you're going to need it in a pitch like that. Either that or, or Abu Hajar gave him the wrong phone number to call. I don't know, though. Check your numbers. Check your phone numbers. Check your battery. Make sure you got phone reception. Get one of them satellite phones if you need to next time. Feels bad for Remick, poor guy. All the potential for the big boom. Not going to happen. Shadow Ritual and Jenga Master still down in the village section with Ram, Chocolo, Fulcrum, and Fafinator all covering. This east side is crazy. Sightless, he's in the two-story building all by himself. Yeah, bots and science, you called it. They need to get like a hand crank for a cell phone and charge it up or something. Like, I know that back in the day, my folks had a one of them hand crank radios with a flashlight on it, so you could have a flashlight or a radio while you're out camping. In the middle of freaking nowhere, the radio reception was shit anyway. It wasn't a good radio to begin with, but it made a good flashlight, I suppose. You want to sit there and crank it all night. You're still taking tracer fire. Okay, there's Shadow Ritual and Jenga Master coming in from the south. Satan goes down. He's a squad leader. Gets taken out. Game Master me might be waiting up. Oh, there goes a nade. That might actually might get him. Good nade by Ram. And that was a good one. Took him out. Sorry there. I had a phone call coming in. Or I, I wouldn't have been silent for that moment. G3 to the east. Hutch is still up to the east. Jay Remix up to the east. A little to the northeast. Looks like there's a Tedish. And that is a Sergeant NATO. Okay, so both commanders still alive. Empty up to the north. He was the first casualty last round. Looks like he's... Oh! Takes out Silver Pud. Good shot by Empty. 
U.S. being very patient. Right, if you stand where I'm at. Really holding the line here. On, give me... You just have another rocket fired in here. It's just dangling down. Maybe. Enemies in the field to the southeast. There it is. Oh, and he gets him. Wild I'm Cucumber is down. Great rocket. I Great rocket. That yep. No. That was a nice rocket right there. Was that Hutch? That was Hutch firing the rocket, wasn't it? This guy is just, he's money no matter what kind of projectile he's firing at you. Jesus. Hutch's rockets are on. Oh, and Shattered Ritual's got the attention of Cool Breeze on the south. Hey, try and hook up with four. Try and hook up with uh, Hutch. Yeah, Hutch is on fire. He's coming. He's making up for missing round one. He's got to get the extra kills in here. Let's see how many he's got. Hutch has four so far. He's out doing his command there. Teddish. Five kills for Sightless, though. Sightless holding that building to the east, really shredding it. I think he's, he's still alive, too. Shadowed Ritual doesn't. He's running out of room to push he's he's got a giant wall on both sides of him Let's take some some big gutsy moves to get anywhere now expert has gone down he is dead command for the u.s is down and same with you know same with tennis tennis is down too so both commands are down in fact we're down to Hutch and, and, Hutch and Jay Remick. Another rocket by Hutch. Oh, Shadow Ritual is down finally. So it's Hutch, Jay Remick on the east. Well, not no more. Sightless just took down Hutch, and Jay Remick is hurting. He's going to banish. So it's Jay Remick and Empty. The last two for the insurgents. U.S. did a real good job of holding their positions. Boy, they took some casualties, but they hit. Where they needed to, and they and they they held fast. Oh, there's Jenga Master. Jenga Master is up too, just to this just this little field down here. So let's see what they do. They're all pretty uh, spread out. Oh, empty is. God his, dang, uh, empty's close. Hey, firm four is pushing up right now. We're gonna try to get him. Hudson J. Rivik. Hudson J. Rivik. It's like God damn. <laughs> Oh, Jenga goes down. Ronald Reagan sees him. Empty goes down. Pure Paradise catches him on the cross. We are down to Jay Remick, last man standing. He's got no game sound. Be really except for mouse vigilant clicks. through here. They could be out south or they could be out I'm going to be right on his booty. Let's see what he goes and does. Oh, Sightless is going to be waiting for him. Him and Sightless have already exchanged some gunfire, so... Oh, God, there's CMYK Matter looking right at him, and he's dead. That's a good game. Back out, make sure I'm right. I don't want to call GG too early. That would be no fun for anybody. And, uh, yeah, that's GG. We'll call it right here. Good game, everybody. That was round two. And another victory by the U.S. You know, looking at the assets in the beginning with the with the insurgents getting five technicals and they can set up a vehicle resupply, it looks like they're just going to be able to sit there and just pepper that U.S. compound and established uh, FOB with gunfire and rockets from everywhere. And that's actually what Hutch was doing. Hutch was on fire with that artillery. But somehow the U.S. managed to win, even when they lose their Humvee. And... And so we saw both teams go one and one today. Really good game. Lots, lots of good kills. Lots of good interaction. Uh, got big shout out to Xbit and Tedish for commanding. Uh, their squad leaders, CMYK, or CMYK Matter, Krusty, the Sailor, Best Pony, Truth Realm, Hammered Hebrew, hey, Satan, Shadowed Ritual. Hey. Big shout out to our cameras. Xbit, the Silverman, Krusty, the Sailor, that. Truth Realm, Tedish, Shadowed Ritual, J Remick, Best Pony, and Hyper Evo. As always. The man whispering sweet nothings into my ear, Pen. Big clap. I always clap for him. And uh, Squad Ops. Big thanks to Squad Ops and all these participants that came out. You know, uh, none of this is possible. It's such it's so awesome to see people 
want interest in these One Life events. And if you want to be a part of it, check us out at squadops.gg. There's a link to the Discord there. We've got forums there. You can introduce yourself. Uh, help us get to know you. Jump into our Discord. That's the best place to find us and ask questions and, and receive any information that you're looking for. My name's The Muff Bandit. I'm the one you had to listen to all night, and I'm sorry for that. And that is Farmer's Fate. It's May 31st today, end of, end of the month. Tomorrow will be June. Heck, it's June for some of the EU guys already. Already halfway through the year. This was a great one. This was a great one. Thank you all for coming out, and thanks for watching. I love you too, Rival Helicopter. And we'll see you guys on Saturday for another episode of Squad Ops. Have a good night.